two of tennis's most influential icons in one of Dubai's most iconic landmarks, the Burj Al Arab. With seven Dubai duty-free tennis championship titles between them, Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic are back in Dubai for the 20th edition of the event. The 2012 tournament features eight of the current top ten players on the tour. Whoa. Ooh, incredible. <laughs> Well, you're the more experienced one in this. So, I'll lead you. <laughs> yeah, please, be my guide. <laughs> oh, this is an amazing place right here, you know, just sort of anticipating. Yeah, it's the great. Platform, it's incredible. The two top seeds took to the helipad of the Burj Al Arab, which became the scene for arguably the highest television set in the world, seven years after Federer's unforgettable match with Andre Agassi in 2005. Now I see what you mean. <laughs> you don't want to like, lean too much in, you know? And instead of just maybe filming it from above, I thought maybe it was a helicopter. It looked so cool to really see where we are, you know? Because yeah. if you take a picture from like, up there, all you it see is the land. Yeah, you you, you want really to see the, the ocean. It's been 20 years of the tournament. They know what to get and what to expect now from the tennis. It's been big subject for many years now here and uh, we the players and the top players in particular love coming here and they always have a great field so although this combination makes this a very attractive tournament for all of us. When we started 20 years ago we thought we had reached at that time the ultimate we had the, our winner was number eight in the world Karl Novacek. We built a temporary stadium the boards creaked as people walked along. We were thrilled when we had two or three thousand people through the week. Am I happy how it's going? I'm thrilled. We made Dubai and UAE like a, a sporting uh, capital of the, of the world. So now we have Desert Classic, we have golf, we have Dubai World Cup, we have rugby, everything. And plus that, now Doha also getting like an, into FIFA 2022. So I think it's great. So we have added a lot of, a lot of value into the UAE and the whole GC. We started all those years ago with uh, Tiger Woods uh, chipping off. Uh, where his ball ended up, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not too sure more or less about the tennis. But yes, I think it's, it's, it's a great location. It really showcases Dubai in, its, in the best possible way. And uh, we will continue to do it. And thanks to the Dubai Duty Free for providing these great people to come here as well for us. Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic have faced each other 24 times, with the Swiss superstar winning on 14 occasions. However, it was Djokovic who came out on top over Federer in last year's Dubai final. The two have great respect for each other. Novak was just best of the bunch uh, last year. And uh, it, was, it was great to see, it was great for the sport. And uh, uh, I can only tip my hat to Novak that he actually keeps on doing it also again this year. And I expect him to be extremely tough as, as the year goes, goes on. Roger has been uh, such an uh, you know, iconic player mm. uh, for, for the sport. Uh, he was a revolutionary in some way. You know, he's, he's been for so long there and he's changed the game. And he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world uh, ever, I think. And uh, it's, it's because of him that this, this, uh, this sport is standing where it is at this moment. The Burj Al Arab was also the canvas for a spectacular laser light show, celebrating 20 years of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships.